At this point, it's literally no surprise that Nintendo is releasing a special edition Animal Crossing New Horizons Switch system because it literally lit the internet on fire. And while it may be absolutely gorgeous, most of you at home probably already have a perfectly functioning Nintendo Switch. Or maybe some of you even just bought a brand new one in preparation of Animal Crossing's release. So maybe some of you aren't planning to pick up this new system because it A, either sold out or B, you just don't want to buy another Switch. And that's perfectly okay because there are still ways to accessorize in a different way without having to drop 300 plus dollars on a brand new Switch system. And if this sounds appealing to you, then boy, let me tell you, we've got some options. I'm Zian from Nintendo Life, and today we're going to be sharing with you a handful of Animal Crossing themed accessories that are compatible with the Nintendo Switch and Switch Lite. And if you're interested in purchasing any of these items that we talk about in this video, we'll have some purchase links in the description down below. First up on our list is the Duraflexi Protector from Hori. This is for the Nintendo Switch Lite. Now this is kind of like a rubberized case, almost like something that you'd find that you'd put your phone in. The pattern on the back here is pretty cute. You have a palm tree, you've got normal trees, and you've got a house that was made with trees. This reminds me a lot of the 3DS XL that came out. I believe it was for New Leaf. It was a 3DS XL or a new 3DS XL. Nintendo made one back in the day that had a pattern very similar to this. Go ahead and see how easy this is to pop in. I think we've, we've covered some of their cases like this before. I think I just have a like clear plastic one though. So here it is on the system. It looks pretty good. It feels pretty glossy in comparison to the feel of the actual Switch Lite, which has more of a matte feel. So I don't really care for that too much. Like I just recently finished Celeste and I was playing that for probably like two hours and my hands were getting pretty clammy from dying over and over again. And I don't know if you can see it or not here, but it also gets pretty fingerprinty, but you know, just like a nice, nice wipe down with a cloth or something. Those will all go away. It also has raised bumpers kind of here. I'm not sure if you can see that either, but so if you drop it, the screen's going to stay a little bit safer than if you didn't have a case on it at all. I mean, obviously the joysticks are much taller, so those are still going to get nicked, but and you shouldn't be dropping your switch anyways. What are you, an animal? Overall, I genuinely like it. it. It stays super tight to the system. It has a really nice Animal Crossing look and it's cheap. It's only $16.99 here in the US. But that's not all Hori's done for Animal Crossing. They've also made a version of their vault case that's Animal Crossing New Horizons themed. You can see right on the front here that it features the main key art or the cover art from Animal Crossing New Horizons. So the top is, has a more glossy top. It almost reminds me of like a, like a middle school pencil case or something. And then the back is a more like hard mesh material. And then there are two zippers on this case that are actually the little like furniture leaves that have become like the staple logo for Animal Crossing. Those are pretty cute as well. They feel, feel nice and sturdy. I just want to take these off and put them on a jacket. And then on the inside here, there is a little pouch up here that you can keep some small accessories in. I don't think Joy-Con will fit. I think I tried that earlier and it wasn't going to, wasn't going to work with a switch in here. But you can keep like headphones or a little charge cord or a, a tiny backup battery or something. Right, just small little accessories. And then they also have the little furniture leaf pattern up top in the, the background here, which is really cute. You also have a little pouch here that you can keep, I think 10, 10 different switch games in, which also doubles as like a little screen protector flap and then the cool thing about this case is so it fits the standard switch super snug you put this little strap down and lock it in and it doesn't move doesn't move at all it's super super snug in here real tight not going anywhere and it's also really like it's reinforced on the sides here this plastic is super tough but then there's some little grooves on the side here that kind of help keep it in place along with like the triggers on the back of the switch but then you can take your switch light and you can actually you can see there's these little grooves here right on the side here those are positioned properly so that way when you put a switch light in here it's not going to slide around as much so this is actually designed to work with the switch light as well now if you still shake this around the switch light it's not locked in on the side so it's still not sure if you can hear that or not but it's still gonna be able to move around, so it's not fully secure, but the standard switch fits in here perfect, like a glove. And this case is pretty affordable as well. It retails for $19.99 US. And now we have two controllers to talk about. These, we've featured these before in separate videos, but not these exact designs. These are from Power A. These are the enhanced wireless controllers. But here we have a Timmy and Tommy version and a KK slider one. 
Power Ace enhanced wireless controllers are very similar to a standard Nintendo Switch Pro controller. You have all the same buttons that you'd expect. They wirelessly connect to your Switch without any extra accessories, which won't cause you any extra headaches. So that's super nice and convenient. You have motion controls built into these. So if you're playing things like Splatoon and Fortnite or even Breath of the Wild. But one of the extra perks of these controllers is that these have two additional programmable buttons on the back side here that you can program to, I believe, just about anything. Now, some of the downsides of these controllers is that they don't have amiibo functionality. So if you're going to be using this with Animal Crossing, you're going to have to use a standard controller or you're gonna have to have a Joy-Con or something else to use amiibo. They also don't have any HD rumble built in or any rumble at all for that matter. And they do require two AA batteries to use. These controllers though do feel pretty good in your hands still, like all of the buttons are in the correct places. The days of the kind of like g super generic controllers from like Mad Cats and Pelican back in the day are, have kind of gone by the wayside. Now, most controllers that are generic or third party, I should say, feel usually pretty true to what you expect a normal controller to feel like. Now, since these are lacking a few features, they do feel a little lightweight. Like the plastic is, it feels tough. I think if you stepped on it or something, you'd be fine, but it's just a little, little lightweight. These both also retail for $49.99 in the US, so they're about 20 bucks cheaper than buying a brand new Pro Controller. And then if you still really want to spice up your Nintendo Switch or even your dock or anything like that, we have two skin sets from a company called Controller Gear. I'll admit right off the bat, I'm not too fond of system skins and things like that. Like when I was a kid, I loved them. But honestly, these skins are super nice. So we're actually going to just go ahead and test this out right here in the video. So the cool thing about these skins is that they come with a bunch of different labels that you can basically apply all over your Switch and all over your Switch dock. And it looks like from the images that it's supposed to fit entirely all over all the places on the Switch. So it's supposed to fit on the sides, the top. I'm not sure how well something like this is going to apply because they also say that they're not reusable, but when you remove them, that there's no residue left over. So it sounds like they're supposed to get put on pretty clean. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot. Let's, we're gonna put on the Tom Nook and Friends one. Yeah, so there's Tom Nook on the actual like Switch skin along with Timmy and Tommy and KK. And then the dock itself just has Timmy and Tommy. But so we're gonna go ahead and put this one on. These feel super th like thick. They're really nice. See, look at that. That looks pretty good. Like even just, even if you don't even use all the other like side panels, that just still looks nice. That's pretty, that's pretty slick. I like that. I like that quite a bit. I'm genuinely surprised. There's a bunch of different stickers here. So this is for the Switch itself. This is for the, whoop. This is for the Joy-Con and the Joy-Con grip, which is cool because then if you just want to use the Joy-Con grip one and like not use the ones on your actual controllers, you could do that too. And then this looks like it's for the dock here. I'm not really sure what we're all working with. We're just going to peel some stuff off and figure it out. All right. Um, I don't know where this goes. I'm going to be real. These bigger ones, I can definitely tell where these go, I think. Okay. So then it kind of like goes around on the side of the system too. Dang. All right. So I got half of it on. I thought this was going to be an absolute train wreck, but here I am just knocking it out of the park. All right. And there it is, you know, not so bad. It looks pretty good. Now, like I said, these do come with extra decals that you can use on your system and on your joy cons and your, your grip and stuff if you want. But honestly, even just the dock looks pretty good. I like how on the bottom here as well, that it kind of, it folds over the bottom flaps. You don't have to really worry about the adhesive like peeling up probably, cause then it's gonna be sitting flat on the ground and, or not on the ground, but on your, your table or your stand. And the material by the way is more thick adhesive and it kind of has a matte finish. It's not glossy, it, it feels, feels nice to touch. These also retail for $19.99 in the US, and I believe Target carries quite a few of these. So if you don't wanna buy it online, you could swing over there and see if your local Target has one. Controller Gear also sent over these premium tech badges is what they're calling them. They're basically just glorified stickers, but I'm assuming that they're going to be the same material as the system skins. And if so, that's super appealing because they're really nice. Yeah. They basically advertise that you should use these on cell phones or your system or your computer, your laptop, your iPad, different things like that. And so far they have two different sets. So they have one that has like a bunch of different 3D character renders. And then they have another that has more just like line art of the characters. And the line art one actually has more decals as well. I believe some of them are a little bit smaller. I wanna put one of these somewhere, maybe like on my laptop. Hmm, let's see. <gasps> I know. 
here we go. I don't even know if you'll be able to see that, but I put one of the Animal Crossing leaves right next to all the little logos that I have on my laptop, those stickers, because I'm a loser and I kept them on, but I like them. And these retail for $9.99. And then last but not least, I wanted to quickly cover Animal Crossing Amiibo. Some of you maybe have bought them cheap when they were selling out at different Game Stops and Best Buy was clearancing them out and now Five Below was selling them for super cheap. So maybe some of you have them, but maybe you don't know what they do or why Amiibo are going to be important for New Horizons. But basically figures like this, we're not entirely sure how they'll work. We know that you'll be able to use Photopia Island to invite characters over and you'll be able to basically like set up little dioramas and throw like little parties with your villagers and like the different special characters. You might be able to get special furniture from them as well. We're not too sure. But then with the actual like villagers themselves, like the little cards, you're supposed to be able to invite your villagers over to come live in your town through the campground. You invite them to the campground and then you can invite them to come live in your town. I I've said it time and time again, if you've thought Thought about getting them before if you still see them at your local GameStop, which I believe some GameStops just got restocked on these. You might want to pick them up now before they sell out or before they're unavailable or before they go up in price because that'll probably happen. Let's be real. And there you have it, just a handful of Animal Crossing accessories that should help you show off your love for Animal Crossing. Feel free to let us know in the comments down below if you plan to pick up any of these accessories or if you think we missed out on something that should have been on this list. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, then why don't you go ahead and shake a tree until a subscribe button falls out and then ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we release new videos. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Zian from Nintendo Life and we'll see you next time.